Hey guys, today we're going to be outlining how to make an EM pump. An EM pump is an electromagnetic pump that is said to help power the spirits in the spiritual world. You see here we turn this on, set it down, and here we have our EMF detector and you see that it's going off now because we're producing that electromagnetic field from this EM pump. First you're going to want a box to contain it. It can be any box. Uh, you want to make sure it's a little roomy for your motor so it doesn't overheat. For the motor, any DC rotating motor will do. You will need the red and black wires that come off here to power it and it needs to rotate. Uh, you can get these off of disc trays for old gaming systems. Uh, this one particular is for remote control airplanes. You need a battery supply. This is a 9 volt battery supply. Also going to the red and black wires. I prefer to use the ones with the built-in on off switch but you can use something like this and then wire it to your own external switch if you prefer. And just so we know when it's running, a simple LED light, you can find these in boxes on Amazon for, for pretty cheap. Right. And one of the most important pieces you're going to need is a very high powered neodymium magnet. Uh, the size will depend on what motor you get. Uh, you can get these at hardware stores online, uh, sold a lot of places. But yeah, this is the key to created that, creating that electromagnetic field. Finally, uh, since my motor is a little bigger, I do use these uh, self-adhesive felt pads to go on the bottom of it. As you can see on this one, it just keeps it a little quieter when setting on a hard surface. Right. For tools, you'll need a drill and two drill bits. Uh, for to run your wires through your box and a hole for your LED light and a hot glue gun. You'll also need some electrical tape and wire strippers, pliers, scissors, whatever you're more comfortable with to strip the wires. You want to pre-plan your layout to where your wires are going to be on the opposite side of the spinning side of your motor. That way it avoids any chance of it to get tangled up there. All right. And while you're planning that out, you want to go ahead and strip down the ends of your, your light, your battery, and your motor with a wire stripper or scissors or something so that you have enough metal wire to wrap together. Alright, so I have it plotted out here. I have my wires stripped, everything ready. I want my motor to face this way, so I want all my wires to run on this side here. So, the first thing I'm going to do is to run the wires for my power in through the side here. So I'll need to drill a hole there. hole on the front for the light to come out of. Alright, next thing we're going to do is glue 
our battery pack because I have this one with the switch onto the outside of our box with hot glue. Put all that so it's nice and secure. I use hot glue in all of my projects. It's not extremely permanent, but it is very sturdy. So you can count on it. And the hole we put on the side, we're then going to put our power wires through there. Okay. Next thing we want to do is affix our neodymium dimium magnet to the end of our motor. So you want it as centered as possible so your motor doesn't shake, so as best as you can get it on there. What I like to do is put a little glue first. And set the magnet in that. Cover the base of the magnet all around with the hot glue to help secure it. This will be moving at high high speed, so the more secure we can make it, the better. magnet dry under our motor here. We want to get it all wired up. So we want to take the black, which is the negative from our motor, our LED light, and our power supply, and thread them all together. Just twist them up. You can use little wire caps if you prefer, or you can even solder. Uh, I, this has always worked just fine for me. It keeps things simple. And then we want our positives, our huts, whatever you want to call them. Do the same. Usually they're red, this LED is blue. but. And before going any further, I usually test, turn it on, make sure your motor power's on and your light power's on. Now you see there we have our magnet spinning and our lights on. So we're good to move forward. And get your tape and tape these up generously so they don't come undone. Okay. Now that we're all taped up, we want to secure our, mor our motor in the bottom of our box. You simply do that by hot gluing the bottom, placing it so it has enough clearance, so you can see there. And then I usually put some hot glue over the top to make sure, and down the sides to make sure it stays put. Get the 
make sure when you're putting it beside you get it at the bottom so that it adheres it to the bottom of your your box. And let that dry. All right, our glue is dry. See our motor in there, solid. We want to turn it on one more time to make sure it doesn't flop around. Looks like we're good. You see the magnet spinning there. So now we just want to pull it together. Put all our wires in here behind the motor so they stay clear of that spinning magnet. We want to put our LED out of that hole we drilled earlier. I like to put a little hot glue on it to keep it still as well. Just right on the back side there. seal it shut however your box works mine has this slide top uh, I like to be able to access it easily in case anything ever happens we'll put on our felt pads here which you, you can find at a hardware store they're usually these in particular are used for like cabinet doors so they don't slam shut. Put one on each corner. And there you have it, your finished EM pump. Let's turn it on there. Down. Then test with our EMF detector. There we go.